In this video, we shall be talking about the 1988 movie Beetlejuice. This movie is one of my favourite Halloween movies of all time, and without further ado, let's get into this. So this, in my opinion, is one of my favourite Halloween movies to watch around this time of year and is so, so good and sublime and is easy to understand. And to me, it is easily my top five Halloween movies of all time because it is that fucking good. This movie has everything. It is the complete package. It is funny. It is dark. It is spooky. And it has an amazing cast. And that's what you want from an amazing, solid Halloween movie as it is the complete package as you get everything related to a family movie and everything that you want to keep you entertained for an hour to two hours of a movie. I think the story of this movie is absolutely brilliant as we see Barbara and Adam who are a, a couple who will live in a big house and love life. However, unfortunately they get involved in a car accident involved just with themselves as they drive off a bridge after trying to avoid I think it's a cat or a dog and then that's it then they end up crashing through the bridge and going into the water and drowning themselves this is where they return to their house covered in water and then they think they're still they didn't even think or contemplate that they had died and then they look in the mirror and can't see themselves and realize oh shit we are dead they find that they cannot leave the house as there is a sandworm outside their house and they will be gobbled up if they leave the house or get mad munched. And this is why I love this movie. Not because of the sandworm munching people, it is simply because of this gives us a kind of an insight into life after death and is this actual real where you're just walking around with other people in your house or is it that dead people don't actually know that they're dead and that's what this movie shows in slight glimpses and gives you sort of an insight to the afterlife in which I really like. I also thought the story as a whole was very very simple and it is Tim, Tim Burton written all over it as it's got scariness, it's got Halloweeniness to it, it's got freakiness to it, it is everything to do with Tim Burton and you can easily tell this is one of his mad creations just by looking at the front cover or the poster. I feel that this movie was hilariously funny and the inclusion of Jumping the Line, the famous song which is associated to this movie was absolutely fantastic as the, this song is used when Adam and Barbara decide to scare, try to scare away their trespassers if you will or the new family that has moved into the house by disrupting their dinner party with a little bit of a song and dance as they control the Delia family by just sort of making them, making them sing jumping the line and everyone's singing and dancing along and that is hilarious and now every time I think of jumping the line I think of this exact scene in which was a genius idea because every time like I said you think of jumping the line you go oh fancy watching Beetlejuice now very very clever by the movie producers and the movie writers as that now is stuck in my head that scene and always will be as it is such an iconic scene I feel though that I can't ignore the elephant in the room when talking about Beetlejuice without the main character himself Beetlejuice as he was absolutely phenomenal and that is Michael Keaton playing Beetlejuice as he was unbelievable on another world on another level he was absolutely fantastic as Beetlejuice and nobody could fill his shoes in that role as he was funny, he was sarcastic, he was really, really energetic and annoying but he was so good at that and when he's first introduced uh, by, by Adam and Barbara he is so energetic because the, they introduce him by helping take care of the family problem and he nearly kills them rather than scare them away as we see he chucks one of them down the stairs in which was hilariously funny but he nearly killed the guy instead of scaring him away and that's where they put Beetlejuice back in his place by scaring by saying Beetlejuice three times to put him back and his performance throughout this movie was incredible as near the end where he's called upon again to Adam and Barbara as they are hung up like a pair of puppets because somebody has gotten hold of their their book of the afterlife and have sort of strung them up not by on a purpose but by an accident as they wanted to to see these ghosts get exercised as such 
So they were dropping to bits, aging in the middle of the room and Beetlejuice obviously needed calling up to basically put an end to this accidental spell in which was placed on them, which was killing them. Beetlejuice gets called upon, he solves the problem, but then starts to, because he's called upon by Lydia, Lydia then helps sort out the problem with Beetlejuice, but then Beetlejuice then uh, organises a marriage between him and Lydia, and this ends up into a quite a big mess again, and makes the situation ten times worse, as now the, the guys must try to get rid of Beetlejuice again, after they basically let him loose again and they've basically got to say Beetlejuice three times to get him back. However, they keep he keeps trying to put them off saying Beetlejuice by throwing things at their face. So it so it, it hits them and blocks them from saying things, or basically sends them and makes them tiny into a little village, or even sends them into the sandworm area. And yet it's just such a brilliant uh story. And with Beetlejuice, Michael Keaton's Beetlejuice, that is, it was fantastic. And there's no other words for it. He was amazing. Honestly, Michael Keaton, one of his best roles, in my opinion. That's not to say the other cast weren't unbelievable, but that's just to say he was the best out of all. Of them. And that shows because there's so much good cast in this one, as we see the likes of, obviously, Michael Keaton, which we mentioned, Alec Baldwin, we see Gina Davis. And they're the three, in my opinion, that are just the best. They are... The, the top tier they're the ones that make this movie what it is however the others that that sort of like the backups to them which aren't far behind them but i like to we own a rider catherine o'hara uh jeffrey jones and glenn ja uh, and glenn yaddix as these all played a huge role in making this movie a huge success globally to summarize then this movie is one of the greatest halloween movies of all time and will go down as such an iconic movie hence why i've rated this movie an 8.6 and a classic film let me know down in the comments down below whether you agree or disagree with anything i've said in this review or if you've got your own opinions let me know down in the comments down below and also if you haven't already hit that like button hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be alerted to all the new content this channel creates, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Later.